Sometimes you, you only see the danger in hindsight. And you tell yourself, I should have known. And then it's too late. Looks like the power went out. Well, power's overrated. Here you go. Are you warm enough? Well, that depends. Mm -hmm. If I stay in your arms, definitely. If you plan on letting me go, I might catch a chill. I just about giving up on seeing you tonight. I gotta tell you. Look at me. But you know what? We're stuck here, which is actually a good thing. What do you think? You think we're stuck? Well, I mean, I'm with you, right? <sighs> the storm is settled, so the water's rough. There's no way to make it back to the mainland. How how was the uh, how was the party? Mm -hmm. Pleasant enough. Pleasant? Well, that doesn't. It's not a great endorsement. Um, I was at Wits Ends just a few moments ago. I think the party is gonna start looking up. Keep your hands where I can see them. What's this about? Karma? Payback? Whatever you want to call it? Before it comes down all over you, I want you to tell me why. Why what? You killed Letitia. And I want to know why. And then I'm going to blow your head off. Your brother doesn't even know me. Why would he want to kill me? I'll explain when we get back to Port Charles. Well, as you pointed out, there are no launches, and even if there were, there's no way of getting on a boat in the middle of the storm. You better hope my father never made it onto this island. all the time so I figured I would try and get this one going because it sure as hell beats standing around feeling absolutely useless. Okay. You want some company? Not necessary actually. You're so upset about your fight with Elizabeth? <sighs> Unless you're upset with me. Why would I be? Well something's bothering you. Okay Lucky listen you are a great guy, a really great guy, and you don't deserve to be treated the way that Elizabeth treats you, so it's just sometimes... <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna say it. I just say lucky. I need to speak with you. Go ahead. I'll be fine. What's up? I know I'm not your favorite person tonight. Well, can you blame me? me? What were you thinking? Starting a fight with Sam at my brother's engagement okay, party? I realize you think Sam hung the moon, but every conversation is not about her. Nicholas could be seriously ill. It looks to me like the class just snapped right off. Did you catch on something? It was... it was an accident. So in other words, someone ripped it off. <laughs> well, certainly, uh, certainly beautiful antique. It was my great-grandmother's. The necklace is one of the few things my parents got out of Iran when they immigrated, so it means something to me. Well, I know what it feels like to have a family heirloom passed down into my care, and how upsetting it is when it gets broken. Listen, you can cover all you want for whoever did this, but someone deliberately ripped your grandmother's antique necklace off of you. It's not a big deal. No, I, I completely disagree. Does Patrick know about it? And if he does, why don't he defend you? Or did he, is he the one who did it? I'll just get it fixed. It's really, really not a big deal. Don't worry about it. That's not the point. Nicholas. So now I look. Okay, back off. Something's happened to Lulu you don't know about. She's disappeared. 
Do you have inside information about this? Not really. I mean, I have no idea where Lulu is. What, what, why don't you just tell us what you do know? <laughs> Some guy came up to me. He thought I was Lulu because we're in the same dress. He wanted to dance with her, but he said he couldn't cut in, so he asked me to do it for him. Have you seen Carly? No, he answers with creeping dread. Why? She claims she's been texting Michael all night. But... I know Carly, that means trouble looms. Well, Ray, the Coast Guard shut down the harbor for a reason. This storm is going to be a record breaker. I don't need a weather report. I just need full tank of gas. You're still not going to make it to Spoon Island. I don't have a choice, Max. What's out there that's worth risking your life for? Carly is running around Windermere with a gun. If I don't stop her, she's going to kill somebody or she's going to get killed. I received a text message from the person who killed Letitia, and he said he'd meet me here in 10 minutes. If the town is in this place today, anyone could have walked in this room. Anyone didn't. You did. I am a cop, not a killer. Now, I know you're upset about your son's nanny. Why did you respond to my text message? I didn't. The text I received said to meet in 10 minutes and you walked in right on time? I Am I supposed to believe that's just a coincidence? I, I'm working a case. I got a text from the station and I was about to answer. That sounds convenient. You don't want to do anything here that you can't take back. So give me the gun. Don't move! Killing the wrong person isn't going to bring Letitia back. Now give me the gun before you hurt yourself. I missed on purpose. Next time I won't. Now once again, tell me, why did you kill Letitia? Oh, this. Don't give me the gun. Just put it down. I'll back out of here with my hands where you can see it. That's right. I'm not that naive. The second I put this gun down, you're going to kill me. What's wrong with you? Why are you holding him at gunpoint? Carly thinks I killed her nanny. Carly, that's ridiculous. Really? What is it about this man that makes you trust him so much? That's easy. I know who he really is. Look, back off, Simeon. My date has told you everything she knows about Fair Lulu look, and the yeah, Phantom Dancer, look, right? Look, listen, listen, if you didn't know this guy, why would you go out of your way to help him? Because he asked. Because he was cute. Because it's a masquerade ball and it sounded like fun. Or how about because I felt like it and it didn't seem like the end of the world. And if none of those answers satisfy you, then maybe you're the problem oh, and not this oh, guy, whoever he is. You're a little new around here to be throwing around the attitude and judgment. There are things going on you don't even know about. We need to go through somebody's head for glancing! You're acting like I told Maxie to go and rip that necklace off of Leila's neck. Hey, Robin, why don't you explain to me what happened? <sighs> Maxie and Georgie saw that I was a little sad, and so they corralled me for some girl talk. Girl talk? Wow, that phrase covers a whole multitude of sins, doesn't it? What does that mean? It's always the same with you. Blame someone else and take in your own emotional responsibility. Easier to play the victim to your family and blame Layla. You put undeniable pressure on our relationship, and that's what ended it. First of all, I didn't play the victim to anybody. And it ended because I made the unspeakable mistake of admitting that I wanted to have a child with you. You wanted a child, period. It didn't have a hell of a lot to do with me. Proven by the fact that five minutes after we broke up, you had every guy in this city looking for DNA. Do you know how reactive that sounds? How immature and desperate that is? Excuse me, you're the one that's immature. You said that you love me, and then the minute you had to actually back that up, you bolted. Now well, that's that's one thing. You wanted a family, and I didn't. No, you wanted an excuse to get out of the relationship. I mean, you said that you loved me. You actually made me believe that. Turns out I was just an exercise in fidelity for you. I loved you. I was honest with you from the beginning about my commitment issues, about not wanting a family. As soon as everything didn't go your way, you bailed. Now take responsibility and move on. How many women you plan on leaving in tears tonight, huh? Nicholas, huh? What do you? 